Sarasota County Firefighters, Venice Fire, and Nokomis Fire are all conducting a recovery operation at the Venice South Jetty. It's believed two people were in a van when it went into the water. At one point, seven firefighters were in the water, but they've been pulled now to allow rescue vehicles to search with sonar. Uh, to start with today at about 4.30, a, uh, according to witnesses, a vehicle entered the, uh, the South Jetty, went over into the sand area, actually struck a bench, accelerated into the water. Uh, witnesses identified two people in the vehicle. With the outgoing tide, the vehicle actually went out the Venice Inlet, uh, actually sunk completely underwater prior to leaving the Venice Inlet. Um, right now, we're uh, trying to locate the vehicle. Once we do that, we will start the uh, recovery process. Uh, I just want to add the jetty at this time is closed and will remain closed until the vehicle is uh, eventually moved and the case is uh, uh, going to be investigated by our traffic homicide investigators. How many people are believed to be inside that van? According to the witnesses, they observed two people in the vehicle, two adults in the vehicle. The traffic homicide investigators are going to be investigating that, but we're uh, receiving assistance from the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, their surf team. Uh, we have the Venice Fire Department, Sarasota County Fire Department, um, FWC, uh, even CETO is out here assisting us, and the United States Coast Guard. From all I've heard from witnesses right now is that, the conf that there were two people inside the vehicle. At that, this point, we don't know where that vehicle is. For right, right now, we're just trying to locate the vehicle. Once we do that, we'll, we'll start the uh, recovery process. As the chief said, he is the lead investigating uh, agency here. The Venice Fire Department, Venice Police Department, our lead. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is now, unfortunately, helping with recovery. Uh, this went from a rescue into a recovery today. Very unfortunate. Um, at this time, our surf team is out there. That's the Sheriff's Underwater Recovery Force. We're trying our best to locate this vehicle, but we do have to wait until the tide changes um, and some elements kind of change so we can get down there. And an update on this story, the van has now been located at a depth of 15 feet. They're going to try to bring it out of the water. We will have more on this developing story tonight at 10.